Here's the tale of the tape for the grand finals of the Back to Warcraft Weekly number 76. Goat of NA versus the goat of everything. <laughs> Potentially esports, if only this esport was bigger. Happy as dominant, perhaps as Flash once was in Brood War. Hitman, as dominant as Team Liquid was in North American Counter Strike. In North American Warcraft. Undead versus Orc. Best of five. Now Happy <laughs> tends to own. Tends to own him. I'll be honest. But we always have a little bit of hope. We always have a little bit of hope. Don't we? we always have a little bit of hope. A little bit of copium. Game one will be on Concealed Hill. Here we go. Upper right, here's Happy. Bottom left, here's Hitman. Blade Master versus Death Knight. Ghouls, of course. Hitman goes for the fast shop. Again, like we mentioned earlier, with this, what we call a cash build, when the shop, the Blade Master and the Grunt are done at the same time, um, you don't have to harass right away, but it gives you the option to harass right away. Let's say Happy goes for a really aggressive camp off the hop. You can do that. And Hitman is going to do that. Buttcrumbs gifting a sub to Pima81 as well. Thank you, Buttcrumbs. Like, what was that? Like, 10, 12 gift subs today. Thank you very much. I swear, like, last weekend... I saw you at just 500. Now it's 572. Okay, so Hitman single salve, circle it. This is pretty standard. We've seen Lin do this opener quite often recently. This isn't just Hitman that's doing this. This is kind of as expected. And maybe, can he get the trapper? Yeah, I think he can. Oh, no. Just barely doesn't get it. Maybe can force another coil with a grunt block. Hitman undecided on what to break Windwalk on. Goes for an Acolyte, which will force a coil for sure. It, this early game is all about forcing mana off the Death Knight and, of course, keeping the Death Knight low. Forces the Nerubian. Yuka, thank you for the first time, Prime. Appreciate ya. An Acolyte does go down. But Hitman's out of Windwalks now. Forces an Acolyte, delays the tech, and there's one more coil for Happy. But Hitman might have to just go back home because if not... Oh, this Acolyte could have just gone back and he could have teched. Because um, if not, Happy's going to surround your blade and kill it. <laughs> you have to go back now. So Happy gets level 2. And Hitman is going to go back home after creeping this camp. Start creeping himself. Happy, will he go aggressive or is he just going to creep the shop? Doesn't find the timing. On the crab. Will he get the grunt? No, Hitman will get the block. And that's actually the first salve to be used. And Happy creeps at the same time. He's both camps at the same time. This will be level 3. Oh, Happy with a slight mistake there, actually. Allows Hitman to get the last hit. Very unorthodox of Happy there to make that sort of a mistake. It's small, but every bit of experience counts in this opener. In fact, that might have almost been level 3. Ooh, almost hit, man. His sword was, was a swinging. So Death Knight slightly away. So yeah, that last hit did mean no level 3. So that's actually a bigger mistake than you might think. Blade Master has a Wind Walk, but he's going to get a Ghoul and get level 2 from that. Him has got to be careful. He, his Blade does not have the health right now to do this. Oh, Happy's going to... might get this Grunt. Oh, the Skeletons expire. I was going to say, he might get this Grunt, and then he could kill the Blade with level 2 Coil. By the way, Tier 3, Shadowhunter, Beastiary, Follow-Up, and Graveyard, Tier 2. 
Illusion block. Optimal play says Happy gets this kill. But Hitman turns around. Shadowhunter on the way. I would have lost all three grunts, and if I was happy, I would have lost 12 ghouls by now. Did he hex the wrong hero? He hexed the wrong... He hexed the illusion. Whoopsie doopsie. Happy backs away, though. Not gonna test the next hex. Yeah. That illusion would have probably canceled the salve, so maybe that hex was warranted. DK is still not three. <laughs> Happy. Dude, that last hit was a big deal. Where's the Lich, by the way? Okay, now he's getting the Lich. Okay, and he's going to get the level three. One coil left on the Death Knight. So I would put Hitman slightly ahead after this early game, but that doesn't really mean much against Happy. It, co it comes down to what happens next, once this Lich is out. And especially it comes down to what happens when the Frenzy cool timing hits. Master clears the lab. Does he assume now the expansion is being crept? Or does he assume the DK is sharking for damage? Oftentimes, not just Happy, but Undeads in general will be looking for Coil Nova kills at this stage. They won't just be creeping their DK. But maybe because Happy's tech was delayed, he thinks he's missed his timing. And what's funny, I was just thinking, like, we've seen Hitman in good positions after the early game from Happy. You know, that tends that's sort of Hitman's specialty. He's very good at the openers. He knows precisely how to play the early games. And then we've seen him just get into a fight with Happy. I'm thinking Tidehunters at Rawr Land. <laughs> just get into one fight with Happy, and Happy doesn't lose a single unit and kills Hitman's entire army. We've seen this before. Um, so we'll see if that's what happens this game. Does Happy have dust? He does. Coil Nova. Yeah. When you're up against a player of Happy's caliber, you, sh you shouldn't wait around to get the Rock Golem. You should just take the little... Like, level 4 is a lot of experience, that level 4 creep. Um, you're never going to get the Rock Golem. He's not going to allow you to, so just take the bits of experience that are given to you. Okay, Shadowhunter level 3. Best case scenario for Hitman. And he has a ward? I don't know whose ward this is. I assume it's Hitman's. Red camp surrounded. Dust used. Happy gets... By the way, he got a greater mana from the lab and gets a bit of cunning. Okay, is Happy going to push after this? I think he might just push. Hitman got... What did he get here? Don't know yet. Scroll the beast. Grabs it with the blade. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. We've seen Hitman in good positions before. This is what I'd call a good position. And then Happy has just steamrolled him. Hitman grabs the tome. And Happy might not want to engage into the burrows. Oh, by the way, that is Hitman's ward. We can see the yellow dot. And Fountain's going to be traded. Blade tracks the undead army. Happy says, I'm not going to push into those burrows. Second invuln stolen by Hitboy. Very crucial here, of course. Happy's heroes super susceptible to hero focus right now. Hitman going to take the Fountain. Both have crept their entire sides of the map. Happy got one more camp, of course, because he got the red in the middle.
but we'll happy get here. We need some good items. Bone chimes, not terrible for now. Hitman, we don't know what he's gotten yet. Other than level 2 Torn Chieftain, he gets the better item, Robe of the Magi. Hitman's got to go back home. He's happy he's coming. Chain Morphin Destroyers, 56 supply. So the shop might be killed. Okay, the first actual exchange of the game is going to be forced by Happy here. Shop should be rebuilt. There it is. Odo! Is safe. 54 against 59 supply. Hitman needs to fight in range of his burrows. Getting a lot of purges on the Destro. He's trying to bait the silence. But Happy doesn't actually silence at all, Kodos. One gets a Devour, Scroll the Beast, Torn Chieftain has a potion of vulnerability. D Destro dies, Kodo gets a Devour. TC alive for now, but might be dying to a Coil Nova. There it goes. But second Kodo Devour. Third Kodo Devour. Destro focused again. Hitman really controlling this fight so far. The TC died, but the second Destro dies. Hitman's shop is almost up yet again. Okay, Skull the Beast pretty much gone. Blade Master being focused. TC back at 60 seconds. Grunts are kind of fodder, just like the ghouls are. Happy. Greater mana already ingested. Blade's got to be careful. Coil Nova! Potion of vulnerability the last second. Shadowwater levels up. Hitman's got to get back to his shop. You got to run away. This is where you disengage. A lot of items purchased. There's still coils. Blade's got to be careful. Hitman should back up to here and fight with his burrows. Now he is. Now he's realizing where to fight. 43 against 43. Drop again being focused. TC is almost out again. But again, the hero focus. Once there's a Coil Nova, the blade might not live. He should buy a potion of healing. You are terrifying me right now, Hitman. Buy a potion of healing. There he goes. <laughs> Happy just statues currently. His micro is so damn good. Pushing on vulnerability can be purchased from the shop. Happy could sell the bone chimes as well. Surprised he's not. Temple of the Dam coming up for Happy. That's different, is it not? And there's only one creep camp left on the map. Okay, one potion from both shops. Happy pulls ghouls. Is he going to re push? Hitman's going to be caught out of position. Can he get TC3? Not quite. Happy's also looking for a green camp. Again, if Happy goes into the base, he'll kill the shop, but won't be able to do much. Okay, Hitman sees the temple. I don't know if he actually confirmed it. Here goes Happy again. Shop will, will be dead. It'll be rebuilt up here. Hitman's got to run back. And that's all Happy wants. Stop and get out. Rebuilt. Map is crept. Hitman confirmed there's no expansion. Happy did the same. The only question is now, has Happy... Or has uh, the temple been scouted by Hitman? A torn totem would be the reaction. Question of vulnerability. One was purchased. The next one's probably 40 seconds before it's off cooldown. First Banshee. And with Happy's Micro, this Banshee will find a lot of value. He doesn't even need that many Banshees. He'll keep them alive. I'll be honest with you guys, this is the most competitive Happy versus Hitman game I've ever seen in a, <laughs> in a tournament. Not including ladder games. But Happy seems to be in control, like, you know, every step of the way, you got to be nervous if you're Hitman. 
comes happy. Chain morphing Destros with two Banshees. Here's the second. Blade. Scouts. Oh, does he notice? Okay, he does. Yeah, man, getting in range of his burrows. Always fighting with his burrows. Dust. Needs to rebuild the shop again. Yeah, man, not engaging until he has the perfect position. Carson is so ruined for Hitman at LOL is obvious. That is obvious. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, DK has a push from vulnerability. Is he forced into it? Batrider hits everything. Silence on the Torn Chieftain. Ooh, not a good stomp there. If it was level 2, it may have been. They Master Cursed. Can't build any more Batriders because the shop is dead, of course. Hitman has a lot of Novas and a lot of Coils. Dude, hit. Happy's positioning is so sick. The miss. He stomps the Lich. Coil forced on the Lich. PC gets level 3. Big upgrade. Shop done. Raider on the way. Man, speed scrolls away. PC. Coil. Nova. Oh, might be dying. Can a potion be passed? PC does live. Devour. On the Hex, one Destro dies in the meantime. TC, heal waved, and salved. That's when Walk used to get the blade away. Burrows are doing work right here, but Happy is trading favorably until these Destros get cleaned up. No mana pot. Where's the shop? It's out of position. Hitman can no longer recover in this fight. He needs to be able to buy potions, but he just can't. Happy loses the Banshee. Has nearly two coils left. And that might be enough, honestly. Hitman, he can't get to his shop. DC. Oh, might be dead here. Gotta wonder finally gets to the shop. Oh, it's so hard. Okay, double mana pot now. Okay, Shadowhunter finally has mana. Lich, Lich, Lich. Coiled. One Banshee goes down. Blade Master. Barely lives. One heal wave. Last coil might have to be used on the Lich. Is used. Battlehunter uses another mana pot. 47 against 56. Koto tries to get a devour but won't be able to. Clarity potions available. No more mana pots available. Happy expanding upper left at the meantime. Realizing Hitman is in the back foot. Potion of Vulnerability going to be sniped by Happy. And he's just going to wait for mana and do it all over again. And Happy seems to be in a winning position here. Happy gets the potion. Hitman wanted to wind walk up to the other shop to get the next potion, but he's got to keep defending. Oh, Banshee. Nice coil and frost armor. Good to force that coil, though, if you're Hitman. I suppose. There's no coils and a single Nova currently. Hitman, I think you're gonna you're not gonna get much better of a fight than this. Destro! Dead. I like the Bat Riders. Personally, I never use Bat Riders. Heal scroll, maybe, for Hitman? Yeah, that's all he can get. Windwalk's gonna run out. Careful! Does run out. Look at the timing. Whoopsies. Could have been risky there. Next coil. Forced on a ghoul. Expansion. We'll be mining soon. 47 against 57. Yeah, Hitman needs to get a potion of invulnerability. But Hit Happy is just waiting here. It's like such good play by Happy. He's just, he knows he has the expansion. Hitman probably at this stage knows he has the expansion too. Hitman could engage with the bat and try to get that Destro kill. 
two bat riders on the way. This is the downside of no fiends, of course. Bats not viable against fiends. Master, thank you for the 21 months. That's for the horde. Not looking great for the horde with this expansion being up, but it's not saturated. Main bases, by the way, should be two minutes left. No, barely any gold left. Hey, man's got to win a fight. He's got to win it now, but the next potion of vulnerability is sniped by Appy. Hey, man's got to go. Now or never. Trying to bait the silence, but Happy never falls for the bait. And the issue with bringing the bats in is they'll get Coil Novid right away. That's why Hitman's being very timid with the bat riders. Expansion. He didn't even... He built the expansion at the perfect time to saturate it with the acolytes he already had. Happy's mining. Hitman has to win the fight now. 10 supply down, but the heroes are strong. <laughs> now or never, hit boy. Happy just backs away. A town is under oh, he manages to build a great hall, actually. One banshee found. Raider? The issue is hero focus. There's coils, there's novas. Bat riders will find their mark. One goes down. Raider coil nova though. Photos get a devour. Heal scroll used by Happy. And then Micro's back is low units, but the Shadow Hunter coil nova! How many games have been lost because of this? Heal scroll though saves the Shadow Hunter. And the heal wave is there. Stomp is good. But the blade is cursed. And now the blade is dusted. And the silence on the shadow coil Nova it goes down. And Happy's mining. And that might be it. 37 against 52. Was Happy ever really at risk of losing? I don't think so. A damn nice try though. A damn nice try from Hitman. GG is called. And that's 1-0 for Happy. Happy just, I mean, just keeps pressuring Hitman. I mean, that's oftentimes how these games go. You just hold in your base and hold in your base and hold in your base. And you hope over time you get the hero levels. And maybe the undead feeds you a hero kill. We saw at times the Lich was at risk of dying. But Happy just controls the shop. And without a potion of invulnerability. Without a potion of invulnerability, you cannot normally win those fights. Because if not, just a hero dies. Eventually. If the orc can keep all their heroes alive and just holding their base, holding their base, holding their base. What's up, Kira Slays? Um, they can they can oftentimes win, but the TC death and the more importantly the shadow death. That's one zero. Best of five though. Man, can Hitman keep up this pace, though? Because that's, like, that's about as good as it gets against Happy. That's about as good as it gets. Then prioritizes statues in the fight? I don't think he actually does. The priority goes ghouls, then statues. Because if you don't deal with the ghouls, they kill your entire army, but you can deal with them quickly. So you need to... You bait the silence. This is the ideal fight for Orc. You bait the silence on your TC. You'll we'll always see Hitman leading with the TC. Faking a stomp, waiting for the silence. And um, once Happy silences, Hitman backs away then re-engages when it wears off, ideally lands a stomp on the ghouls, gets a triple devour with his Kodos, focuses the ghouls down one at a time, blade to the back, kills the statues while the headhunters kite away from the Dark Ranger. That's the ideal fight for Orc. 
Um, but it, you're playing against Happy. Notice Happy never bites on the bait. He always silences when Hitman actually engages in. TC lost, put him on the back foot early. Yeah, I mean, it got only one stomp. Ideally, you're going to lose your TC always in those fights. Um, but ideally, you want to get two stomps before it dies. I think Hitman only got one. Oh, my game bugged. All right. Do, 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 do. I'm kind of filthy there with the six buds. Says, let's go hit, man. Appreciate ya. I do not know Latin King. By the way, after that game, Happy said he needed one minute, so. And he's one Happy the Game. Yeah, that's new, isn't it? That's a little bit different from what he does. All right, game two, Northern Isles. Map pool could definitely affect this if Happy doesn't 3-0. We'll see if he can able to get the match point. Hitman was close, but it seemed far in map one. Game two, let's see if he can clean it up, I guess. Here we go. In the bottom left, here's Happy. In the upper right, here's Hitman. Do orcs play Farseer Headhunters against Undead nowadays? Um, none of the top orcs do anymore. Everybody is playing Blade. Um, at least against Happy and 1 2 0, as far as I know. Against players like Labyrinth, maybe Farseer is still common, but. Happy, especially, not playing Expo ever against Orc means they always play Blade. This is Ghouls again. Acolyte Scout again for Hitman. No fast shop this time around. This is going to mean he's going to creep a little bit. Concealed Hill tends to be really good for the fast shop build because of how accessible the circlet is and then how predictable the creep routes are. And on this map, Happy most likely going to go for the Tuscars first, which isn't really stoppable. Preventable, I think would be the better word. Hey man, it's going to creep himself. Happy might actually go for the expansion first, but either way. Going to be a very similar game to last. These two are very standard players. We're not going to see anything crazy. We're not going to see a Blade TC Expo. Oh, that is what's played a little bit. TS Yaga is still Farseer TC Tier 2 Expos. Um, has been played a little bit, but not Farseer Headhunters. Um, but yeah, we're not going to see any of that from Hitman. We're just going to see the same game as last. Hitman trying to hold in his base, trying to hold that timing. Oh, this is a bit annoying. Yeah. You see how much Hitman respects the last hit. And it's actually crit first from Hitman. He gets it with the grunt. The yeah, Acolyte's so annoying, and see, now it threatens to cancel salves, making Hitman not too efficient in the early game. Hitman can clean it up now. Sometimes you even see Orc players just use a Windwalk, even though Hit Hitman did go crit first, right? But sometimes we see Orc players just use a Windwalk to get that kill. Oh, now the Grunt might get ensnared? Oh, no. Happy gets level 2, gets the parry up.
Yeah, focus might be the exception. I mean, I see a little bit of tier two expos from people, but. And I'm telling you, if I had to play happy, that's what I'd be playing. Mass win riders all day, but I wouldn't win. Level two for the blade, gonna stop in the marketplace. But is Hitman just going to allow Happy by his claws? Going to allow Happy to get level 3? I guess he's going to. A player's forces are under attack. Hitman going to get level 3 himself. That is if he can get his Tuscar, which yeah, Happy's going to allow him to. So they're both going to... Have level three. Happy will have crept his expansion. Hitman saves his expo, ideally for a shadow hunter later on. Buckrums, thank you for gifting a sub to Warcraft. Appreciate you. And uh, Gabaru Sama, thank you for gifting a sub, or uh, for the 31 months rather. Let's go, Hitman. Appreciate you. So Hitman's shadow hunter. The issue when the DK is level three early is the shadow hunter creeping. The man Shadowrunner is probably going to have to sneak off and creep things like these camps and try to get the expansion at all costs. But Happy will definitely be prioritizing trying to snag that expansion so that the Shadowhunter has nothing left to creep. We see Hitman already going towards the expansion. Blade with better items than the Death Knight. Absolutely. But yeah, notice Happy. He's just going to steal us because he knows... Hitman's also crept level 3, which means the Tuscar is gone, which means if the expansion's gone, how does the Shadow Hunter get level 3? That's going to be the struggle of this game. Crystal Ball, just awful items for Happy. That's the struggle of this game. Level 3 Shadow Hunter. How the hell does it happen? And Happy's been doing this thing where he has his graveyard blocking and the ghouls that are low mine in the back. There's nothing to be gained here. Yeah, this is going to be a much different game from last. Last game, Hitman was able to get level 3 Shadowhunter quite easily. This game, it ain't going to happen. I mean, if Hitman could get his lab creep uncontested, that would be amazing, but I just don't see it happening. He's taking a risk. But Happy's going to be here? Yes, he's going to be here. Little bit of experience, okay. It's a start. <laughs> Blade's gonna track the Death Knight. If Hitman can force the DK to back up, that's excellent. Speed scroll. X again. Wait a second. Hold up. Let him cook. Again, we were talking about this earlier. Optimal play, four points to round right here. Do it or you don't beat Happy. And Hitman doesn't. That's what I mean. You gotta land those surrounds or you're gonna lose the mid game. And Hitman is now behind in the mid game. And the Lich is now here too. And this is why we see that fast shot build into harassing because this is what happens when you allow the Death Knight to creep level 3. Two Grunts dead. Still mana left on the Death Knight. If he gets the four point surround on that DK, it's a different story. The DK is dead here. Hitman's in an excellent position. But he doesn't land it. And now Happy is going to dominate this game. It's not over, but that frenzy timing is going to be a hell of a lot stronger. He pulls the ghouls. He has the map control to take probably both mid camps. Take both mid camps, grab your orb, and then push. He's getting plus two attack already. Jesus. And Hitman may be forced to try to make a play. Happy dusts it, though. If man can force the coil defensively, he can maybe snag the Overseer. No purges. Where are the purges? There they are. Oh, hold up. Let him cook. Crit. Windwalk, maybe something? No, not there. He 
Wave Master didn't have a wind walk to get away, so he needs the hex to DK. But happy. <laughs> Trying to get the kill. Hitman just barely gets away. Dark Ranger picked up. Happy can get the potion of invulnerability, and Hitman is gonna struggle to barely hold on. He forgot reinforced defenses. Uh oh. 60 seconds. And Happy's probably getting ready to push. Oh no, Happy's gonna take the marketplace. So Hitman at least won't be punished because of no reinforced defenses. But he will be punished by this frenzy timing that's coming. Oh, Happy takes some damage on the statue there. Onk. Hitman trying to get the red because he knows he's behind. I don't know if he's gonna have the time though. Tower coming up as well. We've seen Lin do this many a time. Does Happy know? Does Happy know about the red camp? He seems to. The Shadow Hunter might just be dead. You guys ready for it? Heal wave your Shadow Hunter now or lose it. Heal wave it now or lose it. He's still going to lose it. There it is. And Happy. The, just the intuition. Oh. To know to go to that red camp. And that's 2-0. That is kind of what you expect the Happy Games versus Hitman to look like. And that's what game 2 was. And honestly, we see there why oftentimes you can't trade level 3s against Happy. Then he just owns you. Because trading level 3s... It's not inherently bad to have level 3 Blade against level 3 DK. You could call them both very good level 3 heroes, right? It's nice to have level 3 Blade. The issue then becomes the amount of creep camps you have to steal away from your future Shadow Hunter to get the level 3. If you don't have either the Tuscar or the expansion to get an easy level 2, um, you, you just can't get it. Because you're creeping level 3, the DK is also going to be 3, so he's going to be harassing you. So you need easy camps to creep your shadow. If you can't get shadow at least 2.5 before Happy's pushing, you're kind of screwed. And in that case, Hitman was struggling so much to creep that he lost two grunts creeping. And then it just all plummets from there. Autumn leaves. Map 3. We'll see if Hit Hitman is able to get a game, or Happy will get the usual 3-0. Here we go. Bottom left here is happy. Upper right, Hitman. There are much more sneaky camps to take on Autumn Leaves than Northern Isles. Northern Isles, the only sneaky camps you have is the Spiders by the Red Camp. Um, on this map, we have these little greens that allow you to scrape together a 2.5 Shadow Hunter. And we have these Null Camps which often can be left. Because if you want to creep level 3 DK or Blade, for instance, Camp, 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 that's level 3 for either hero for both these players. And then if you look at what you're left with, you're left with green, green, and an orange on either side. You can imagine this is the Tuscar, and this is the expansion on Northern Isles. A very similar situation, only you're always left with those, even if you creep Blade 3, even if you creep DK 3. But Hitman, switching things up, Farseer. All right. I do think this is a better blade map because of the reason I just pointed out, but he's switching things up. So here's the answer to your question. Yes, Yog. Hitman's doing it. Can't be too troll. We'll see how Happy plays differently against the Fars here. <laughs> Unsummon trick. Hitman. Ooh, actually gets the block. So this creeping is not affected by the Acolyte pull. Just slightly. Happy going to sell TV by Circlet. Our Seer's here with Claws. Not 
going to be able to do too much yet, but he will be able to delay Death Knight's creeping for sure. Happy's tech will start soon. Why do I see a Zig? Is the overlay broken? Where's the Zig being? Oh, it's being upgraded to a Nerubian. I was like, what the hell? Is there a third Zig? I thought I was seeing something crazy. Coil secures a level 2. That means aura. That means surround potential. Happy didn't sell the TP, by the way. Maybe that's something he does not do against Farseer because of hit and run. And that's some safe creeping for Happy. As long as the DK is not three, I think Happy's um, going to be left wanting a little bit. Which is why it goes towards the shop. Run. Barely sneaks out, but the headhunters might not be so lucky. Ooh, DK actually gets trapped a little bit behind his own ghouls, but there's no way Happy doesn't get at least one headhunter here. There it is. Would be surprised to see another surround, but <laughs> Happy always surprises. There's another surround. Starting to see shades of Happy versus Soen on Northern Isles here. Chop canceled. Oh! Okay. Saves it. Front. Farseer. Something's getting surround. Oh. And there's no shop, so he TPs, but how do you heal him up? Happy can just take the expansion freely now. Shadowhunter second. And so far, one beast here, eh? Ours here. <laughs> Is within coil death range. But Happy uses coil on the creeps. Oh, maybe one ghoul finally. There we go. And level two. Oh, and two ghouls. All right, Hitman. We're letting him cook, and he's cooking. That's a two-for-two two trade, but of course the TP is still nice for Happy. We've gotten, and of course, the creep camp stolen away. Shadowhunter is out, and if Hitman really needs to, he could go heal wave first, but his shop will be up in time for Happy's side of things. Tier 2 now done. Dark Ranger? Yep, yeah, Dark Ranger. Okay. Happy does switch things up. And will this be level 3 if the Dark Ranger pulls away? Doesn't for the first Berserker. Oh, Happy sees the peon. He knows what the plan for Hitman is now. Acolyte. Oh no, the Acolyte. Okay, might have to hex the Acolyte. He didn't hex the Acolyte. And the Grunt dying. Oh, this Creepjack is rough. We gotta speed scroll away. The Farseer slowed, head on her grunt, dead. Happy level 3, he has a level 2 coil. Will he choose to kill the head on her, or will he try to get the Farseer to kill? Probably just the head on her now. X again. And the game one might have been the only chance for Hitman this series, because every unit is dead. Expansion's coming up. Windrider on the way, but Happy's going to be tier three soon. Oh, Happy has a coil. Uh-oh. Wait, is he within death range? He's dead. And that's going to be 3-0. And game one... 
was as close as it gets. And it's hard to have more than one of those games in a series against Happy, and he just showed us why. He also showed us why he maybe farts your head runners. <laughs> Isn't the best strat against him nowadays. At least the old way of playing Farseer Headers. I think you need to play it a little bit more lame. And Happy gets the 3-0. Again. But against a different opponent. A good start, but a crippling ending there for Hip Boy. A nice try, though. Second place.